Hey, everybody. A um, couple things. I was a little disappointed that some of you still did not bother to do the one one uh, activity of the day. I don't really hit you guys with a lot of stuff. I think the least you could do is, is uh, sign in. I understand. I'm going to keep saying it. I understand these are trying times, but uh, I'm really not burying you with work. All I'm asking is you log on once a day. Maybe you watch a video or two that I put together, which are short videos. Right. I've got another long one coming out trying to stay on top of stuff. Now, the question I asked you, it was two parts. Very simple. All right. So let me go over and explain the first one. It said three resistors are connected in series, two ohms, four ohms and six ohms. If they're connected to a 24 volt battery, which is the source, what is the current passing through the conducting wire? So step one has not changed ever. Right. You read the problem, you write down the word given in your notes on your paper, and then you fill in what we know. We fill in what we know, both implied and stated. There are no implied givens here. They're all stated givens. I have three resistors of two ohms, four ohms and six ohms. Now, it's a series circuit. I've already asked you, hey, how do you find total resistance for a series circuit, which is going to be different than a parallel circuit? And we'll get into those subtle, uh, subtle explanation a little further down the road. This is really easy. How do I get the total resistance in a series circuit? I add them all up. So R1, R2, and R3 adds up to 12 total ohms. What else did they give us? They also told us that our total voltage is 24 volts. 24 volts would be V. All right, so I neglected to write that in here. I guess I could right now. Make you happy, all right. V equals 24 volts. This is probably even sloppier than my handwriting. Okay, so what did they want us to, to find? The current, and current, current, I is our unknown. I don't know. So then we should ask ourselves the question, is there a formula that solves for I? Well, yeah, I equals Q divided by T. I equals the current, current divided by the total charge divided by the time that that takes for one Coulomb to pass by. Do I have any of that information? I don't. I don't have any of that information. We look up here. They didn't give me coulombs. They didn't give me time. So I guess I equals Q over T isn't going to do it for us. I equals Q over T? Well, no. Well, no. Right? But what do I have? Well, I have voltage and I have resistance. So how about Ohm's law? V equals IR. V equals IR. So we go, let's go back to our, our pen here. I guess I could have brought that up anyway. So I have V equals I times R. All right. This is the part where I got kind of frustrated why people couldn't do this. So what do I know? I know that there are 24 volts equals I, which I want to try to solve for, times my total resistance, which was 12 ohms. If you haven't been following along, where the 12 ohms come from? 4 ohms plus 2 ohms, right? 4 ohms plus 2 ohms plus 6 ohms, 12 ohms. I want to isolate my variable. How do I do it? Opposite operation. So I will divide this side by 12 ohms and this side by 12 ohms. And if I divide 12 by 12, I get 1. And I can keep moving down this way. And now I'll fill in again. And I'll say, what do I have? Well, I is all by itself. I equals, just reading, reading it like a sentence, I've gotten rid of the 12 ohms by dividing it by itself, but also doing it to the other side. So now I have I equals, well, 12 goes into 12 once, but what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. 12 goes into 24 twice, so 2 equals the current. 2 what? 2 amps. There you go. We're done. We're done as far as that is concerned. It was a pretty straightforward problem. The second problem read, if 50 coulombs of charge pass through a conductor every 0.5 seconds, what is the current? 
Well, let's write down the, our givens. Okay, let me go to pen and we say given, given. What do I know? If 50 coulombs, well, what are coulombs units for? Q, charge, 50 coulombs. And it passes through a conductor every 0.5 seconds. Well, what are seconds units for? Seconds are units for time. So T equals 0.5 seconds. Did I get that right? Let's double check. 0.5 seconds. Do And what are they asking me for? They're asking me to solve for current. Current equals I don't know. I don't know. Now, do I have a formula for current? Do we have a formula that says I equals something? Well, yeah. I equals Q over T. Now, can I fill in for my unknowns? I think I can. Do I know how much? Uh, let me get my eraser out because this isn't behaving. So we're going to erase all this. All right? You can go back if you want to see. All right. So therefore, I equals, well, what's the Q? 50 coulombs divided by 0.5. seconds 50 divided by 0.5 is not 25 yeah no but i see half and half of 50 okay let me remind you if i had 50 candy bars and i divided them all into half how many little mini candy bars would i have well if i started out with 50 whoosh, and i cut each of them in, in half i now have a hundred little mini candy bars I wouldn't take 50 candy bars, cut each of them in half, and then say I had 25 candy bars. Okay, that's not a failure on your part of not comprehending. That's an error of commission. You didn't pay attention. You saw a 0.5, and you just said, oh, half of 50 is 25. You got to pay attention to what you're doing. So 50 divided by 0.5 is, in fact, 100. 100 what? 100 coulombs per second. What's another name for a coulomb per second? Now, the name for a coulomb per second is an amp, is an amp. So the correct answer there would be 100 amperes or amps, all right? You got to step up your game. You got to step up your game. I know, I know everybody's throwing stuff at you and telling you got to do all this stuff, but I'm giving you really small little pieces. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I'm not going to pile it on you, but you got to step up for the few things I'm asking you, all right? Please, so I'm gonna be done there. Um, please uh, take a look. I'm gonna probably give you another assignment, maybe give you the correct answers to some of that work from your handout. So talk to you next time.